why don't any of you care? Why is no one buying this headset? Three months ago, I and the entirety of VR YouTube reviewed the Quest 3. And despite this headset receiving a generally positive response from the entire community, Quest 3 sales have been in the toilet. Mark Zuckerberg is building an underground bunker. Why? What is that about, bro? And instead, this Christmas, it wasn't the Quest 3 at the top of Amazon, but instead a now three-year-old VR headset. The Quest 2, with the price reduction and trust from a mainstream audience, absolutely smoked Meta's new flagship headset. So I asked you guys what you wanted to know as Quest 2 users about the Quest 3, and more importantly, what would make you buy one for the $500 asking price? And this is what you said. Battery deteriorate quick. Not deteriorate. I mean battery is ass. I heard. I had a seizure. Ignore everything I've just said. On release, I and others had pretty poor battery life. Meta claimed two hours of playtime, but on my first charge, I got more like 40 minutes while playing mixed reality. Others complained of poor battery life too, and along with the convenient release of a Meta-made Quest 3 battery head strap, it seemed Meta may have anticipated this poor battery life. This $150 head strap, by the way, ended up not actually being able to charge the headset for a lot of users, and Meta ended up halting the sale of the head strap but last month did eventually resume the sales after figuring out what was wrong thanks dad since my review the quest 3 has become my daily headset and after multiple charges some software updates and playing regular non-mixed reality vr titles i'm getting much closer to that two hours of advertised playtime. reports of the poor battery life also seem to have dropped significantly too at least judging by a quick google search and looking at the dates the majority of complaints were posted also a listening of third-party companies have now released their own battery straps that you know uh actually work and for significantly cheaper than what meta are asking for so i think at this point even if you get poor battery life on this thing there's enough alternative cheaper battery straps here that overall i think the battery experience on this thing is fine get it has the cognitive ability of a glue sniffing bald monkey please like and subscribe also join the discord so you can spam the worst emote ever made of me thus far at discord.gg forward slash get it how good is mixed reality very good the pass through still needs work but the one mixed reality demo that the headset ships with is fun and a cool proof of concept. Beyond that, it's pretty f***ing useless at the moment besides farming views with mediocre TikTok content by presenting a basic mixed reality demo to an uneducated mainstream audience who thinks it's the coolest f***ing thing VR has ever done. There's more hype around mixed reality rather than any actual meaningful content here. In terms of actual use, using the Quest menus in mixed reality instead of the Quest Home is actually a really nice feature. I basically never use my Quest Home now and instead just default to access accessing my menus and going into games via mixed reality. It's great, but it's more of a nicety than a necessity. It's not worth $500 though. I already have a lot of Quest 2 accessories, so would it be worth it to buy a Quest 3? Most third-party accessory manufacturers now have Quest 3 equivalents of all of the Quest 2 products that you likely already have all out right now. It took a while to get one of my favorite head straps, the Kiwi Elite strap, not sponsored on the Quest 3, but they finally got it out and I bought it immediately. It's great. I also replaced the face pad with an adjustable AMVR face pad as the stock quest 3 pad adjustment mechanism broke on me because it's made out of flimsy shit, but i get it it's tough to just leave all your quest 2 accessories behind when you spend so much money but for the improvements in display fov performance and comfort you should at least consider it is the pass through as bad as everyone says yes and no when the quest 3 released i and others shit on the pass through a fair bit because it wasn't remotely close to the quality that meta was demonstrating in advertisements and promo material obviously you'd have to be a pretty big bald glue sniffing orangutan with a crippling coke addiction to believe that this is what the finished product would look like. I mean, it's quite obviously produced promo material. But Meta took it a step too far and instead continually presented in every fucking example perfect quality pass through in otherwise pretty standard, believable looking demos, leading most to believe that the pass through would at least, at bare minimum, somewhat resemble this. But in reality, it looks like this. Don't get me wrong, this is great pass through in comparison to every other VR headset on the market, but Meta seemed to have a total inability to express any level of honesty in any of their marketing. It's obnoxious and even people uneducated in virtual reality don't take this sort of marketing seriously because there's nothing of actual substance to latch onto. So yes, the pass through is in comparison to what Meta sold everyone, which was a lie. Thanks. Bad. How comfortable is it? Not very. The face pad shape is clearly trying to fit as many different faces as possible and ends up not fitting anyone particularly well. Upgrading to this padded AMVR face pad helped me a lot, and coupling that with switching to this Elite Strap from Kiwi Design fixed most of the comfort issues with the headset, though it's still slightly awkwardly weighted, leading the headset to rest at a slightly awkward angle, as you can see here, to where the head strap is positioned. This is even worse on the stock strap 
strap and is also pretty bad on the rigid elite strap but the kiwi strap with the kink in the middle helps a lot to keep the headset at its max clarity and fov by being able to move independent of the front of the headset but the fact that you even need this because the headset is so awkwardly weighted and the face pad is so generalized it's just a bit silly are there any issues with the mic or lenses like dead pixels a few users like nathy received units with dead pixels though in the past i've been able to get quest 2 units with this same issue replaced for free from meta so i'm sure meta will do the same with the quest 3 if you reach out to support dead pixels are kind of unavoidable and will happen to a percentage of any display based device so when you buy any headset check thoroughly for any so you can get a replacement in time in terms of the microphone when the quest 3 released the mic was pretty dog shit, but some software updates have seemingly largely rectified this and i haven't experienced any users complain about my mic quality during games is the performance and display much of an increase that it's worth it yes obviously what you defined as worth it is subject to your own income but as someone who has cool money because my Subaru's engine decided to prank my bank account into zero money i still think that this performance increase and display improvement is worth it enough games are now implementing higher visual quality quest 3 versions of their games that this headset's performance is actually being made use of and for games that don't have quest 3 variants of them yet at bare minimum they have more reliable performance especially while using the quest menus it's just so much less of a headache and it doesn't freeze as much that at least to me i'm never looking back at the quest 2 from that ease of use alone is the tracking better on the quest 3 from my experience i have experienced far less tracking cutouts especially in faster paced games tracking generally also seems to be more accurate and it doesn't drift around as much though in some games like racket club i'd like to hold the controller at weird angles to get certain shots off and that blocks the infrared dots and that causes my in-game hands to just shoot off to space but provided that you're holding things properly and not ramming them up your ass yes i think generally it is better is it worth the upgrade because of the colored pass through no what are the positives and negatives about the quest 3 controllers over the quest 2 the quest 2 controllers are like heavy clunky junk in comparison to the quest 3 controllers the difference in weight is significant and the ergonomics are significantly better there's also less to break in gorilla tag with the lack of a tracking ring though the cost of potentially breaking your fingers instead i played a game of racket club where a guy literally fractured his thumb mid-game and that may have been avoided with a tracking ring to take the hit of his desk is the display good enough to upgrade from the quest 2 to a quest 3 when all you do is pc vr yes i think that this is a very good pc vr headset sure you get that compression from using a link cable but the resolution i think honestly more importantly color accuracy is so good that anyone that cares about visual quality it's a night and day difference couple that with the wider fov the far less glare inducing lenses and the ipd adjustment thank god you easily have potentially the best visuals in any practical non-hammerhead shark vr headset quest 3 or ps vr 2 okay besides the fact that one is a 500 dollars native vr headset and the other is a 550 dollars wide headset that also needs a 500 dollars console ps vr 2 at the moment in my opinion is only really good for gran turismo 7 a game that is about 70 dollars that to be properly enjoyed in vr needs a 500 or so dollar sim seed and a 200 dollar or so steering wheel i love my ps vr 2 when my real life subaru is being repaired i risk my virtual subaru sideways around the track in gt7 which is a lot like a lot a lot right now the headset doesn't have enough content to justify the cost and the content that is there due to the tiny sweet spot that the headset has and the halo head strap that likes to shift around a bit under any movement in my opinion isn't that fun to play with as i have to just readjust the headset every 30 seconds to stay in that sweet spot that's also part of the reason why i only use it for gran turismo 7 as i don't have to move my head that much and i can keep the headset clear so psvr rant aside quest 3 all the way don't even consider this thing right now three months in the quest 3 is a very respectable lineup of content quest 3 specific visual upgrades plenty of third party accessories and i think is now clearly a significant upgrade over the quest 2 that if you have the money spare is worth upgrading to unless you've got to pay your taxes and are now scrambling to pull together money while your subaru's engine is in a constant state of disrespair and the last thing that you should be buying is a vr headset like are you out of your mind what are you doing <laughs> then i think in that case fair enough i can't blame you Thank <laughs> you.